Now I'm going to use the 5.2.1 launch it select film and video go for a blank project and give it a name I'm going to call this tutorial create first thing we have to do is go to the settings plugins and search for camera and turn on camera calibration now search for live link and make sure live link is turned on I'm using a Blackmagic deck link card so I have to enable the Blackmagic plugin too search for Blackmagic and it's already enabled if it is not enable it now restart the engine go to the content browser right click go to the miscellaneous and search for lens file I'm going to call this 12mm lens now right click again and go to live link and create a blueprint virtual subject here select live link camera roll I'm going to call this same as the 12mm lens fizz fizz means focus iris and zoom now double click on it right click to create a new node and search for update virtual update virtual subject static data connect it right click on the static data and split the structure pin here and check everything and only check these three static data is focal length supported yes static data is aperture supported static data is focus distance supported now right click again and search for update virtual and this time select subject frame data and connect this right click on the frame data split the structure pin here and now go to the variables and click on this plus icon call this focus and change the boolean to float click on this eyelid to open it so you can edit it now click on the plus icon again and call this iris make another one and call this zoom now click and drag get focus get iris and get zoom now connect the zoom to the data focal length iris to the data aperture focus to the data focus distance now compile everything click on the zoom and in the default value here I'm going to input my focal length I'm using a 12mm lens so I am going to input that 12mm go to the iris the current iris aperture is set to f4 so I am going to input that and the focus focus means the distance from your camera to the checkerboard I have measured it mine is 90 centimeters so I am going to input that here compile everything and save it now you can close this window now right click again go to the media and create a media bundle 
I'm going to call this black magic media input BMD input double click on it in the media bundle media source I'm going to select my black magic media source in the media source click on here black magic in the configuration settings select the decklink card that you are using decklink i'm using 1080 progressive and 24 frame per second make sure it's matching your frame rate set to the camera apply it save and close now click and drag to the viewport and make sure you are getting the video input here leave it aside now go to the place actors window go to the virtual protection tab here and drag and drop the checkerboard to the viewport go to the outliner select the camera calibration checkerboard scroll down here in the details panel and here you can find the number of rows and number of columns here you have to input your checkerboard corner rows and checkerboard corner calls. Mine is 5 and 8. Now scroll down and you have to find the square side length. You have to measure it with a scale. And mine is 2.7. And scroll down again to give a checkerboard color. You can use any color. I'm going to use this purple and a white color. Now create a camera. Click on this and create a camera here. I'm going to create a cine camera actor. You can rename this. I'm going to leave it like this now. Select the camera and go to the details panel and click on this add button here and search for live link and add a live link controller i am going to call this fis fis means focus iris and zoom now click on the add button again and search for lens Okay, now click on the lens file here and in the details panel, select the lens file that we have created and add it. Scroll down and in the film back override, select lens file. Here in the distortion settings, apply distortion. Now go to the live link. If you don't find it here, go to the window virtual protection and you can find it here if you have enabled the plugin go to the live link click on source add virtual subject and here you can find the virtual subject that you have created select the 12 mm fish and add it to the camera again and in the details panel search the live link controller fish that we have created in the subject representation click on it and click on virtual go to your lens file and double click to open it here in the lens information click on it and come to the right side you can find the sensor dimensions here you have to input the exact height and width of your camera sensor i am using a black magic pocket cinema camera and mine is 18.96 and 10 input that and here you can input the model name of your lens if necessary i'm going to leave it as 12 mm and you can add a serial number if you need i'm going to leave it like that now if you come to the focus distance aperture and focal length it is highlighted in yellow because there are no input now go to the lens file panel here click on it click on the focus Click on this plus icon here and input focus. 
mine is a 12 mm lens so i'm going to input that there 12 12 and add it and go to the focus again and plus on click on the plus icon again and i'm going to input thousand as infinity add it now go to the iris click on the plus icon i'm going to input the iris here i'm using f4 so you can input that there f4 and add it now click again input the iris i'm going to input the maximum iris that is 22 for my lens so i'm going to input that here and add this now go to the calibration steps here and if you come down here you can see focal length is not calculated we will calculate that with the checkerboard to do that go to the lens distortion here and come to the outliner and click on this camera calib and if you come to the details panel here you can see input click on the inputs media source and select the media source that we have created here so you'll get the video input on the camera calibrator here you can adjust the transparency i'm going to leave it zero so you can clearly see this now come to the lens distortion algorithm here select the lens distortion checkerboard now come here to the checkerboard and select the checkerboard here show coverage overlay click on it so you can see the overlay when you click on the checkerboard now click on the checkerboard so you can see there is an overlay created means it is detected now pan your camera and leave it a bit overlapped and click again and try to get a good coverage on in their frame I have taken 43 samples you can have less or more now scroll down and add to the lens distortion calibration now you can see the rms reprojection error shows 0.34 that's good if it's one or more you have to recalibrate this now it's okay click on ok and it has calculated the focal length my lens is 12 mm and you can see a bit variation here but no worries it works well and here you have the lens distortion parameters here now save the file so this is how you calibrate your lens for unreal engine and you can migrate this lens to other projects and you can use it in any projects in the next video i will show you how to find the perfect node offset thanks for watching